When I was a kid, I liked to read comic books, real books I picked up at the local library. I had a library card and everything. Well, libraries are still around. In fact, I've got a fairly new one right here in my neighborhood. But what beats the heck out of driving to the library is knowing I have a library right inside my iPad. I didn't think I'd like reading books on a screen, but honestly, I've gotten so used to it that I rarely read a physical book anymore. If you'd like to learn how to use the library on your iPad, that is the Books app, then stick around. This video is for you. Hi, my name is Rich. I've started out this year making videos on how beginners and seniors can get the most out of their iPad. And I do my best to keep them simple and easy to follow. I hate it when I watch a tutorial and the presenter whips through whatever they're teaching at light speed and I have to watch it like 50 times to figure out what happened. You probably do too. By the way, if you get any value out of this video, I hope you'll consider subscribing. So I use the Apple Books app on my iPad to read books. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can too. We're gonna cover how to add a payment method so you can buy a book, how to get free books, which maybe you wanna start doing that, how to open and read a book, how to search for books in the bookstore, how to organize your books with collections, and how to view content, bookmarks, notes, and highlights. Let's get started. Apple Books is just a great app. First thing I want to show you how to do though is you, you need to be able to actually get some books. And there are free books and I'll show you how to get those in a second, but you need to set up a payment method if you plan on buying books and it's real simple to do that. First thing you do, go into your iPad, go to settings, and then tap on your name for iCloud and you'll notice it says media and purchases. And inside here is where you set up your payment method. Then you'll go to payment and shipping and you'll tap on that and as you can see I have already a couple of different payment methods in here but if you don't have anything in here and you would like to buy a book then you'll tap on add payment method and that pops up and you can choose how you want it to be you can choose a PayPal if you have a PayPal account probably you don't but if you've got a debit card or a credit card you can tap on that and then you'll enter the number and when it expires and the CVV number and that's really all you have to do and then you'll hit done and now it's added and when you go into the bookstore uh, it will automatically charge your debit card or your credit card when you buy a book and that's step number one is being able to buy a book so that's how you set up the payment method okay so the next thing I want to talk to you about is how to get free books so when you open up the books app, you're going to come in to the library like this. And down along the bottom, you've got some categories here. Reading Now, Library, which is what we're in. And then right in the middle is the bookstore. There's also audio books that you can get too. But I'm going to tap on bookstore. And then this just takes you to the Apple bookstore. And there's literally millions of books that you can get on here. But what you can do is you can browse sections. And if you tap up here at the top left, on browse sections you'll see a category called free books and if you tap on that you're going to see a lot of different books that you can go through here and you can see what the top free ones are what people are buying top audio books for free listening and then you've got uh, browse by genre and you've got a lot of different categories that are in here and of course you can tap on the search button down here on the bottom right and search for a book and maybe it's free maybe it's not I'm gonna tap on this one and I'm gonna tap on get and once you find the book you want you just tap on it and you tap on get and that's it now it's gonna want you to in my case double click oh. And it's using face ID but if you have an iPad if you have an iPad that's got the touch ID on it you'll just use your thumb to buy the book a little bit easier actually and it says you've already purchased this I'm gonna go okay and download it anyway and that's it and now when you go back to the library this name of this book is how to think bigger and when you go back to the library there it is that's how you add 
a free book to your library. And I think that's a great place to start. Before you spend any money, you might want to decide whether you'd like to read books on an iPad. So download a couple of free books and give it a shot. All right, the next thing I want to talk to you about is actually how to read a book. So when you have the books in here, you can see them like this, and they've got their book cover. If you have a whole lot of books, that gets kind of unwieldy. You can tap on this little icon over here of lines, and it'll actually change it to a smaller list, and you can go back through it that way, just whichever you prefer, but that's the little button that you press to do that. All right, so how do you actually read a book? Well, you just, it's simple, tap on it and the book opens up just like that. So if it opens up like this and it doesn't automatically open to the table of contents, you can again hit the little, this is called a hamburger by the way, because it looks like a bun, a hamburger, and a bun. But you can just tap on the little hamburger icon up here, and now you're back to the table of contents. And if you want to go to a particular chapter, all you do is just tap on the chapter. In this case, we'll just go to chapter one because we're just beginning to read the book. So here, is the book itself and now you can begin reading and you can ch to change pages or to go to a new page you just tap on it like this to go back you tap on the other side of the page and it changes the page if the print is too small you can go up here where you see the small letter a and the large letter a and tap on that and then again you see small and large and you can tap on it and make the print bigger however big you want it or you can make it smaller, however small you want it, just to make it easier to read. And again, you just tap pages to go back and forth. And that is how you quickly open, navigate around, and read a book. The next tip I wanna give you is how to search for a book. Maybe there's a particular book you're interested in or a particular author you're looking for. It's really easy to do that. All you do is you go to the bookstore like this, you tap on search and then you type in either the name of the book or the author that you're looking for. In this case, let's just type in Stephen King. And now you can see all of the Stephen King books that have come up. I've read a lot of these. The Shining, that was a scary movie, wasn't it? Jack Nicholson. And if you want to buy the book, you can just tap on the book and click on buy. And if you set up your payment method, then you're good to go. You just tap on buy and you're there. One other cool thing about this is maybe you don't want to buy the book. Maybe you just want to read a sample of it before you buy it, before you make a commitment to it. You can just click on sample right there and it'll actually download a small sample of the book for you. And once you've downloaded it, you'll see it in your library and you just click on the title and now you can start reading and try to get an idea if this is something that you're interested in. That's a great way to find out if it's a book that you want to buy by just downloading samples. But that is how you search for books in the bookstore. Okay, the next thing I want to talk to you about is how to organize your books. You know, you're going to build up a pretty big collection of books over time and searching for your books or having them organized is just a great way to keep track of things and it's very easy to do that. In order to organize your books you can add a collection so if you notice up here we can go to collections like we did before and you'll see uh, books that are in here and I've created a number of collections here but let's just add a new collection and we'll call this horror We'll type done. And now we've created a collection called Horror, and we can put all our horror books in there. And of course, if you go to Stephen King, and if you tap on these three little dots down at the bottom right corner of the book, you can add it to a collection. I'm gonna add it to a collection. and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna tap on Horror. And now it's been added to that collection. So now if I want to pick up my iPad somewhere and I just want to browse through the horror books I have, I can go to collections, tap on horror, and there is the Stephen King book. And that's how you add books to a collection. Really very easy and a great way to keep things organized. The last thing I want to talk to you about is how to view the table of contents and how to, to make bookmarks and actually highlight text in a book that you can come back to. 
Sometimes you, you're reading a maybe a manual or maybe you're reading some book that you want to make highlights in. And that's very easy to do. And you can do it with your finger, but I'm going to do it with my fancy Apple Pencil because it's just easier to do that. So let's open up this book, How to Think Bigger. And it typically opens back up to just where you left off when you were reading. But if you want to go back to the table of contents, you just little tap on the little hamburger up here in the top left corner. And now you're in the table of contents. And if you want to go to any chapter, again, like I said before, all you do is just tap on the chapter and there you are. So now you're here and you're reading. And let's say you read something interesting. So I'm just going to tap here and I'm going to highlight that. And that's all you got to do to highlight the text. And now you've got it set and ready to go. And when you go back here and you want to look at your notes, now it's called notes, but it's highlights and notes. Apple really should put highlights and notes. And if you tap on notes, you're going to see what I just highlighted. And if you tap on it, it takes you right back to that particular page. And you might have a whole bunch of highlights. Maybe we'll go a couple pages later and we're going to highlight this. And now when we go back, we've got two highlights. We've got the first one and we've got the second one down there. And that way you can keep track of anything you want in the book, the important sections that you're reading. It's just a great way to remember what you've read and not just kind of read a book and then stick it back and it's gone forever. You can also make notes too. So maybe there's something important about this particular passage that you've highlighted. If you hold on it, you can see it says note and you can tap on a note and just type something that you like. I like this section. And then that's it. And now you'll see a little green uh, box here which lets you know there's a note associated with that highlight. And when you go back over here, you can see the note that I just wrote, and it's right there. I like this section. Just like that. And that's how you end up viewing the table of contents. Um, you can also add bookmarks too, and that's pretty simple. Let's say you're starting on chapter two, and you want to add a bookmark. All you do is you hit the little bookmark, and it turns red. If you want to remove a bookmark, you can do that. So let's do that. Let's put a bookmark there. Let's go a couple pages forward here on a recap and we'll tap a bookmark there. Now if you go back and you go to bookmarks, now you've got chapter one that I just did the bookmark in. And if you go back, you've got the second bookmark in. So you can set up bookmarks, you can set up notes and highlights, um, and you can really dig into a book and keep everything organized. And that is how you view the table of contents, how you add bookmarks, and how you highlight text and add notes. It's really great. You know, it's impossible to carry around 100 books, unless, of course, they're digital books. And that's where the Books app on the iPad comes in. It's super handy to not only be able to make highlights and notes, but have an easy way to recall those highlights and notes. And there's just so much more you can do with this app, too. I've only scratched the surface, but like most of my videos, this is not a deep dive into the Books app. If you'd like to see a more detailed video on Apple Books, let me know in the comments below. Well, that's it for these tips. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.